Hello guys, it's me again, Grisel, and with my baby here. Welcome back to my channel, and for today's video, what we're going to do? <laughs> for today's video, it's going to be a day in our life. First, I have to go to my neurologist to check the result of the CT scan that I did last time. And then after that, we are free and we can do whatever we want. And probably another indoor playground, God willing, you know, it's open. But anyway, that's gonna be our vlog for today. And this one here is growing too fast and big. So let's start this day and maximize the daylight and enjoy the weather because it's not that cold outside compared to yesterday's weather. And this girl is going to play. Sorry, right, guys. What are you doing? Are you ready to go outside? Yeah. Huh? Huh? You want to go to the playground? What are you going to do in the playground? Look at your hair. <laughs> Look at your hair. What happened to your hair? Alright guys, so quick update of what happened to my neurology appointment today. I just want to let you know guys that I'm seeing neurologists for my health issues and one of this is my migraine. I am suffering from severe migraine. So I had my second pregnancy and uh, it is really worse and I can't handle it and I really need treatment and medication for that. Or else I'm just gonna lay down on bed for the whole day and can't take care of my kids. At first, my neurologist prescribed some pills, medications or medicine and uh, it didn't really work. Then I tried another medicine and I figured out that it's me, the problem, not the medicine because I am not really compliant. I am a really bad patient. But it's just because I can't take medicine every single day. I just forget taking it because I have two kids. Toddler, one is running around and one is like super little. And of course, my priority is my kids. So what's happening is I keep keeping the medicine or not taking it every day and that's not really good because I should be taking that every single day for the medicine to work in my body and to prevent the migraine from coming back. I have preventive medicine so that's a preventive medicine that the doctor prescribed me and then I have the other one that if I'm feeling that the migraine is coming or the headache is coming um, I have the medicine for that. Since I keep keeping that medicine and uh, not being compliant about it, so I talked to my doctor and I told him that, look, I know I am really bad patient and I know I am a problem, but I just can't take medicine anymore. I can't take medicine every single day. So give me another option. I told her, I asked her, is there any, is there any option like once a week or once a month? So good thing I asked and she told me that, look, since you already tried two medicine, your insurance might prove with this type of medicine. It's an injection and she said it's very expensive. If, you're, if you don't have a good insurance, they're not gonna approve it. But since hopefully, Lord willing, I have a good insurance, we have a good insurance, um, they will approve it, but I forgot to call them, so I'm gonna call them tomorrow. So this is the medicine. So this one I have to inject it to myself. Um, it's subcutaneously, it's just through fat. It's either in my stomach or in my legs, whatever there is fat, probably in my stomach. She told me that it is way better than the other medicines. This medicine is only once a month. So that's a positive thing for this medicine, for this injection. The negative thing is the little, but I'm okay with that. I tried it in the morning and it's not that bad very small needle and surely enough I can handle it so that's my update about my neuro appointment today and this is how it looks I'm going to inject this to myself every month not every day so I'm happy with that and now we are going back outside we just ate our lunch here and we are going to try to go to Indoor Park today just for the kids to you know to let them lose and play and see other people and see other kids and after that we don't have any plan anymore so probably be back home here late <laughs> maybe like six or seven we'll see and that's it we'll see you later that's your favorite thing to do <laughs>
get the bag. back home now and there's a lot of play and I'm sure that they had fun and especially my little one she's just everywhere playing everywhere and my son of course he's still discovering things and trying to be friendly with others but anyway so that's our whole day today and uh, I have to end my vlog here because they are now started eating and they're waiting for me and that's it for today's vlog thank you so much guys for watching and spending your time with me today and please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button below if you end up liking this video and I hope to see you guys in my next vlog stay safe spread the love and God bless you all everyone bye